guys. So I asked a bunch of A-level students to review what their A-levels were like, and these are the answers. I have a mixture of year 12, 13 and 14 students uh, reviewing this. I've got various exam boards, OCR, Excel and AQA, and this arts video includes art, art history, drama, media to, and textiles. So let's start with art. Art AQA. Okay, that's very good. So we've got two positive reviews so far from AQA. We've got an eight and a seven. Uh, this person said, if you love art, then the stress is bearable, but not the best idea if you aren't dedicated to it. I agree. And the person who rated this a seven, personal study is interesting and lessons are relaxing and engaging. Hard to do annotations though. But honestly, hearing from like what my friends say and here so far, art is a very time consuming subject. I know a lot of uh, students that stay after school or stay during break or lunch time to f do their coursework, to do their work. It's a lot of work. But yeah, dedication, yeah. Let's move on to Edexcel Art. We've got three reviews. We've got nine. That's good. Wouldn't have rather studied anything else. I love art. It's a nice change from doing loads of writing. Difficult part is probably the time planning and, and organisational skills are required. Our next student gave it an 8 out of 10. So art, you're doing pretty well. Uh, can't make much art at home. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Especially during this pandemic is not the best, yeah. And then our last at Excel review came from a year 12 student. Thank you. Gave it a 10 out of 10. Art is something I like to do in general. Hard thing is time management. Yeah, so we're seeing a little recurring thing with Edexcel art, which is time. Okay, now we have art history, which uh, is quite cool. I never knew that was a possible in other subject. They did not do Edexcel, AQA or OCR. It was an other, so it could be Educast. So they gave it an 8 out of 10. Good. 8 out of 10 is good. It was really fun, and I studied it at a museum. I wouldn't have studied anything else, but it took a lot of my time um, as it was every weekend, had to stop this A-level because of Corona. They had fun gallery exhibitions and events that were free though. Nice, yeah, we all love free things, don't we? Oh my God, yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on to drama now. We have two drama reviews from Excel. We've got two sevens, amazing. So one of them says, lots of different units, and the other one says, I just enjoy it. Nice. Okay, we're gonna move on to media. We have one year 14 media student and the rest are year 13s. So the year 14 student said, uh, four out of 10, they did an Excel. The, su the subject was hard for me to grasp because I had awful teachers. The content was actually straightforward once I managed to teach myself, but it was so boring. I wish they would switch it up a bit and make it more interesting. Yeah, okay. And then our year 13 OCR media students. Oh, we have like a contrast, okay. Somebody gave it a nine. I love this subject. You get to watch films, watch music videos, play games sometimes, and examine and learn about them. On the other hand, the course work can be long and the theories are long too. Okay. The person who rated this an eight just said fun. <laughs> I think I remember like my friends doing GCSE media. Literally all they did was just watch films and stuff. I mean, that's what they said, so yeah. And then lastly, OCR media, a four out of 10. Too much content and shite lessons. Teachers do not take the lessons or subjects seriously. What a waste of an A-level, to be honest. Now we have digital media, and this is not OCR, Excel, or AQA. It could be Educast or something else, I don't know, but they rated it an eight out of 10. A very annoying subject. Okay, an eight, but annoying. But really fun, if you were doing the unit that you enjoy. Okay, nice. Textiles, AQA gave it an eight out of 10. If you're interested in more practical types of art, like weaving, embroidery, or making patterns, then it's really fun. Still requires you to have technical uh, drawing skills, but it's not a disaster, even if you're not the best at drawing. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to cover music as well, because there's only two for music, and I might as well. We have two music tech students, one from year 13, one from year 12, both at Excel, because they go to my school. Somebody gave it a 10, and they said... I don't even know where to start. I just really love it. If you're into music and want to know more about the development of music throughout time, the technology and how it impacted the creation and sound of each decade, as well as the practical side of setting up a studio, producing, mixing, mastering equipment, 
using a mixing desk composing ETC, this is for you. It's what inspired me to go into acoustical engineering and acoustical physics. I'm specialising into this after my physics degree and just combines everything I love. It's so much fun. Aww. So enthusiastic. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Nice. However, somebody else gave it a 5 out of 10. Hmm. They said, it's interesting, but complicated, but I'm slow at learning because it's new for me. Well, I mean, you d I mean, we just went into our third lockdown. You know, you are in year 12. It is difficult. Yeah, it's, it's not a nice thing to experience. Yeah. But yeah, so that was it for arts and arts related subjects. Well, I hope this video was very informative, okay? Uh, remember, this is a bunch of people giving their own experiences. Your experience will be different. Hope this was helpful. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!